Welcome right. to That Sounds Fun. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Um, okay, so I'm thinking about season four, and, and I'm wondering, when you have all this source material, especially about your two characters, and I mean, you have an entire book, right? <laughs> of source Very material. detailed book, yeah. yeah. And, and I, as, I, as we're putting the source material together with what we're seeing on screen, how are you seeing your characters grow, mm. including what you, where you know they're going based on, I mean, both of your characters have big roles mm -hmm. through the whole thing. Yeah. My voice broke there. Yeah, no, so. <laughs> that's how, yeah, it that's how much so I'm true. relating yeah. to you. Yes. It's just like hitting me in the, yeah. yeah. So, how do you see them growing this season towards that full source material that we know? I, I mean, for Mary, I think she is getting very like honed in on what Jesus is teaching and mm -hmm. what he's saying and picking up nuanced things that he's saying and sort of subtle hints of what is to come. And I think she's just like zoned in. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, that is that is so representative of, of who we know her as, yeah. just like being there and, and um, her sort of dedication to him. Yeah. She's such an entrepreneur these days, by the way. These days she is. My well, girl. she helped finance the ministry. Yes, she <laughs> did. The other yes, women. She did. So, Smart and savvy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think about when you see who Matthew is and who he's, who you know he's going to become? You know, I, I, I think about it a lot because I'm just so thrilled with what we have shown with Matthew and his journey because from the beginning, even just in the physical change in Matthew, you yeah. know, just seeing him grow in confidence and continue to grow in confidence. And then, you know, his, his book is getting bigger because he's writing all the time and he's just finding himself, you know, in season one, he didn't know his true self. And, you know, uh, Jesus gave him that yeah. by the calling of Matthew. And you just see from that, he, he made up with his family. He gained another family he, he, uh, and continues to grow. I, I always call Matthew this lion because I believe he's just growing in confidence mm. oh, and, wow. and, and finding himself. He found his faith last season. So you see him just become this well-rounded man mm -hmm. and, and yeah. he's growing. And, and through that, he's inspiring others and, and wanting to do what's right. And I love that about him. You both have really interesting characters as well in that entire people groups mm -hmm. are going, I'm represented. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And and so what is that experience like? How are people responding to Matthew as a character that we see on the on the spectrum and mm -hmm. Mary, mm -hmm. people misunderstand her sin all the mm -hmm. time. I heard someone yesterday even say, Well, she was a prostitute, I want to be like, No, she wasn't. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. Um, but you I mean for women, women are watching yeah. you lead. So tell me the response you're getting from people, particularly that you're representing in a new way entire people groups. Yeah. I mean, for me, I think most stories about women who are um, struggling with depression or PTSD or trauma right. usually don't end well. <laughs> right. And I think for this story to, to show how much hope and life mm -hmm. and joy there is, um, moving on from that past is is beautiful. So yeah. I think I think it's giving a lot of hope to, to women and men who have gone through similar traumas. Yeah. yeah. This, again, I always think about this because it's, it's, it's just awesome, uh, just what's happening just globally. Because with Matthew, you have people who can relate to not feeling accepted or yes. seen or represented. Yes. Then you have the autistic community finally seeing a version of themselves. And then myself as an actor, I'm South Asian. So you yeah. see all three of these communities represented. Yes. Our show is fully diverse. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it's just it's giving a lot of people uh, just you, you can relate. You know, yes. it's, it's, it's relating. And, and that's what's been... I think the secret sauce to this show, yeah. because people find identity in themselves, they understand it, they see situations that the show addresses and kind of get gain perspective on uh -huh. it and see, oh, this is how I should approach this or look at this. So it's it's beautiful. I have a first century gossip question. Uh -oh. Are y'all falling in love? <laughs> <laughs> is everyone asking you that? Yeah. I've had that question a few times. Uh huh. I you, think. What's the is, answer? I think there is yeah. real and deep love between Mary and Matthew, but also all of us. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. the, the entire group of disciples and Jesus. There's so much real love there. But I do think there's this really special place that we, our characters have yeah. for each other um, because they were both outsiders and they can recognize mm -hmm. each other's each hearts, other's pain, I think, and pain. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. what they're going through and how they both don't let their past define them. Yeah. Yeah. So they know that. So when the other disciples fall into that, yeah. I think Mary and Matthew can connect and, and know, you know, we have that understanding. But 
you're gonna it's like I said it's addressed this season <laughs> yeah. actually so you'll see what what's actually let's what let's go you know? <laughs> I'm telling you that let's scene go. where I love that. Into, that scene in Capernaum where you're standing in the doorway Liz and you walk up and oh. I don't remember the exact line but you oh. say, she says are you okay and you say I'm not okay I could cry right that now. That was my favorite. I'm, I'm getting, uh, yes. that was one of my, you know, I that was, I don't really put much in my reel, but that's the one scene I have in my reel really? because it meant so much to me. You just see so much of Matthew's inner turmoil yes. and her just saying, it's okay. It's okay okay." Calmed him down oh, and he it, did what he had to do, which just goes to so his dad. It was so moving. Yeah. It was so moving. You felt so lonely and then you weren't. Mm. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was, yeah, I felt it the whole way. I'm, I'm, it's funny, I'm like getting goosebumps in the heart <laughs> I know. while talking. It's, it's real. It's real yeah. for us. That's why I think yeah. it shows on screen. Yeah, it is. Okay, so Liz has done this before because the last question we always ask on That Sounds Fun, but you both get to answer. Because okay. the show is called That Sounds Fun, yeah. tell me what sounds fun to you. <laughs> Candy? 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 <laughs> eating whatever you eating, want. Eating. Yeah. It's Candy? because I'm hungry. Uh, this strict that diet sounds fun. There's actors. a lot of things yeah. that sound fun. Uh, okay, I was going to say, have you not had candy in a long time? Because you said it like it was this long distance Am I allowed? Dream. I know, and I look, I look, to, I know. look yeah. to I look to Mary. Am I allowed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, when you're working, I you're, know. you have to, you're on a Certain diet. things are a little <laughs> yeah, yeah. limited. Certain, yeah. 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 Uh, a lot of things sound fun, but you know what? This is what's fun yeah. because this won't be forever. And yeah. I like to sit in the present. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. This was it. fun. Hey. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, the Jerry Maguire, which is one of his favorite movies, and it's one of mine, just to remind him, uh, you know, we're actually talking. Yeah, right. What's been your favorite moment? You've been here two years, right? Yeah. Since a little yeah. before season three? Yes. So what's been the moment where you kind of went like, oh, this is why I'm here? You know, I would, I would probably say the walk, watching Walk on Water the walk on water scene really? in the movie theater. Yeah, will you tell us? Oh, watching in the theater. Yeah, That's watching the it moment. finally in the theater because it was so moving watching that and then watching, um, you know, um, her be uh, go underwater. Yeah. And um, I just remember being, thinking to myself, this is why we're doing it. Wow. The, the, when you see it on screen, you're, 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 you realize this is why all the late nights are happening. This is why the arguments are happening. This is why I'm away from my family. This is why Dallas is away from his family. This is why we're up late at night. And it, this is what makes it all worth it. Yeah. Makes it all worth it. That really feels true? Yeah. It really does. It really does. And it brings back home we're working with a tremendous filmmaker. Yeah. For at least for me. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. Um, okay, so the last question we always ask on the show, Mark. Sure. I cannot wait to hear your answer. Because the show is called That Sounds Fun, tell me what sounds fun to you. What sounds fun to me? Um, I would say arguing with Dallas at two in the morning. <laughs> About when is he going to finish the Was when is he going to finish night? the day? Yeah, is this like yeah. an up close? Reel? That's actually fun to me. <laughs> How is that fun? <laughs> because I'm a masochist yeah. <laughs> and a sadist all in one. I mean, y'all aren't getting near enough sleep. No, no, no. Great, that's just part of the deal. You've done this for deal. thirty years. That's You've been just on part of the deal. Movie sets forever. Yeah. Sleep comes yeah. when everybody else is yeah. watching it on a Tuesday. Totally. Okay, great. Well, I wish you lots of sleep in the near future. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sons of Thunder, welcome to That Sounds Fun. Oh, yeah. Thank you all yeah. for doing this. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad, glad to see you again, myself. George. Welcome yes. back. Thank you. Um, okay, here's what I want to know. Both of you, the Sons of Thunder thing mm. feels very real. <laughs> so yeah. you're great actors, but also, what's the friendship that's making that feel so real to us. I, I think that George and I share a lot of life experiences in common and that's purely coincidental, yeah. right? Like you, we both come from immigrant families. Uh, we both come from a household where we had older brothers that are so close in age that it's really more of like, it's not an older and a younger brother, it's sort of two brothers sort of tackling life. Yeah. And uh, I think that we feed each, we feed off of each other in the show in that way. Um, because you know, when you grow up with that brother that's so close, they become sort of like your your thermometer for your for for things. Whether okay, he's braver, he's better at swimming. I'm better at bike riding, and so you kind of feed off of each other in that way. And I think that pretty much by the moment I met George, he contacted me. Yeah. I was so new. I was new in season two. Yeah. I get a text message, and it's like, do you want to run lines? And like from that moment on, I was like, there's something about him. And then we slowly discovered that we have so many things in common and then what we actually have to text each other to make sure we're not dressing the same way <laughs> I this mean, morning it's close. To, come to, the, to come to these interviews <laughs> like this morning he needed a storage container and he's like dude you have one I'm like come over immediately I have a storage tub for you I gave him a tub <laughs> this morning so uh, yeah we go shopping together like yeah, we're legit like actual it, brothers it is really close yeah. honestly yeah. Yeah. and we dress the same we, we got to North Park Center we're wearing the same t-shirt same yeah. pants ran into Jonathan who plays Jesus yeah. there. He's like, you guys dress the same. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. Um, how much are y'all looking at the source material of the Bible when you are thinking about where your character's going? <clears throat> right? Because particularly George, like John is a guy for a long time. I mean, he is who Mary ends up Jesus giving mm. the mud. You know, like, are you thinking about that now? Yeah. Or is that, are y'all Easter egging us right now There's because of what of you know from the source? There's a, there's a little Easter egg I can reveal to you that I've got because um, I'm, we, we uh, I called him James. Abe says this all the time. <laughs> James. <laughs> James. Um, he says like, well, you know, some of the disciples don't have a book. I'm lucky right. enough that I can look at the source material yeah. and there are so many different things in John. It's a beautiful book and it's written so differently. Um, coincidentally, it is written in a very Hellenistic style. He did yeah. write it in ancient Greek. I'm Greek background. He's ancient Greek. <laughs> I'm ancient <laughs> Greek. <laughs> and I keep shouting it from the rooftops. Uh -huh. um, but 
in that style, it's a lot more artistic than what, you know, say Matthew's book is. And so I've actually taken some creative license there and yeah. we might see a bit of it in this season or I might post it on Instagram, but I've started, right. um, or I have been over the season sketching in John's book. The reason why oh is because I'm wondering why, why is John's book so artistic? And so, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's a little bit more, you know, descriptive and Matthew's is by the letter, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, maybe John sketched a few of these moments. He didn't have time to kind of write down what he thought at the moment. And so, you know, there are a few sketches and I might start sharing those. You know, yeah. I've, I, I sketched a moment that comes between us in the series. We can give you a little bit of a spoiler. Yeah, um, the Sons of Thunder asked to sit at the left and right, right hand. Oh, of right. Jesus, yeah, right. Little argument. Moment. Your mother steps in, right? <laughs> right. Like, she's the one that's like really egging yeah. us on. Yeah. And so it's like, we put on our big boy boots and we, we, we crawl right up to him. And we're like, all right, Jesus. We're ready, man. Yeah. And, and he's dealing with like persecution from like the government <laughs> yeah, and like right. political forces. And we're just like, excuse me. Can yeah. You, uh, do you want us to call down? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, can we ask you for a favor? Right. And he's like, guys, yeah. wrong time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you don't have a book. From... I don't. Yeah. I mean, there's the there's a, a book in the Bible called James, but it's not uh, from James the Apostle, right? So the kind of the research that I have to go through, like obviously reading my brother's book is great, right? Uh -huh. Um and by the way, the book of James, it's like one of my favorite. It starts off really well. Um, it talks about like going through a hard time and you just got to rejoice through it. Yeah. So, uh, but that's not the book. That's not what I wrote. I didn't write anything. And I was the first apostle that was martyred. So really like the margin of historical uh, the first stuff. One martyred. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's, there's just very little there. So I've done uh, coin research to look at the coins that were minted hey. ar around the time of my execution. Uh, I've looked at the Way of St. James, which is from France through Spain all the way to <gasps> Portugal. Yeah, totally. Um, and I've kind of put myself in those shoes as like someone who's willing to go out in wilderness with very little and wow. uh, just really have... Uh, made my like you know if I had the little travel uh, like yeah. with the little thing yeah yeah like hobos yeah <laughs> the, the bag on the end, yeah. Jeebus hobos yeah. <laughs> Man, so yeah that's, that's I've, amazing I put myself in those scenarios to understand what it means to be in tune with nature perhaps your spirit and to have nothing else but the road in front of you yeah y'all season four sounds like it's going to be extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. there's some surprises, yeah. yeah. I can't, we can't. It ramps up. It really, yeah. really does ramp up. And it, I think people will be surprised by how, yeah. how much it does do that. And uh, yeah, it's uh, Jesus is facing it from all corners. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we've got to be on our toes. That's yeah. <laughs> um, Abe, George has done this before, so this is a surprise for you. Oh, let's He's go. a vet. Um, the last question we always ask on That Sounds Fun, uh -huh. but both of you got to answer, is because the show's called That Sounds Fun, tell me what sounds fun to you. What do you do for fun? I absolutely love to be out in nature, whether it's riding horses, and I don't care if I'm uncomfortable, I don't care about mosquitoes. I love to look at a sky full of stars and just smile. Yeah. That that to me is, there's nothing more fun than that. And it is the most fun when you're doing it with the best company, yeah. right? Yeah. And I think that's really it. The, the most fun you'll have is with the best company. Yeah, good yeah. answer. Uh -oh. yeah. Um, Follow that up, my guy. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I know exactly where he got this shirt and these pants because I was shopping with him. Uh -huh. You know what sounds fun to me? Shopping with my oh so slight big brother. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, so yeah. slightly big brother. <laughs> Wait, can we tell them that we're twins? Yeah, yeah. No, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe, maybe James and John are twins. We don't know. Oh, is that what you've done in your mind, at least? Maybe. Well, I think I think that there's no solid evidence to say that one was They're older not. than the other. So yeah. there's some gray area that we have some play with. Okay. Yeah. I will call it that as well. I'm now forever. That. I'm, I'm with, with you. That. Twins. There we go. Well done, guys. Thank y'all. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate it.